Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you 10 more shortcuts in VS Code you probably didn't know about that could really level up your productivity. If you find this video helpful, leave a like and subscribe for more content. So the first shortcut we're going to talk about is Control F or Command F on Mac. Now this by default will let you find anything in your current file. So if you go ahead and press Control F, it will pop up this little search bar. And if we do type something like tips, you can see it does highlight all of them. And you can match it by case. So if we do click this, you can see that this one right here on line 18 goes away because it does not match that case. Uh, you can say it has to be exactly whatever you typed here, and you can see these are. But for example, this tips length is not. And you can even match regex too. So this leads right into our second shortcut, which is Control H or Command H on Mac. Or if you press this little arrow right here, it does pull out this find and replace. But if we were to close this and we type Control H, it does come up with the find and replace. So here we can take all of the tips that we have. We can match exactly to this case and we'll replace it with new tips. And from here, we can go one by one to replace each of them, or we can go here and replace all of them. And this little AB right here does preserve the case for you whenever you refine and replace. All right, so moving on to our next shortcut, uh, we'll go ahead and move over to this JavaScript file. And this shortcut is Control Shift Backslash or Command Shift Backslash on Mac, which will go to the corresponding brace, parentheses, square bracket of whichever one you're currently at. So in this case, I have the rainbow brackets on, so it's kind of easy to see where it's at. But if you have a lot of code, sometimes it can be confusing where you're at. So if you go to your brace and press Control Shift Backslash, you can see that I went from over here on line eight with this yellow bracket down here to line 20 on this yellow bracket. So if I press it again, it takes me back to the beginning and then goes back to the end. So I can do this with the other ones here as well. All right, and so the next shortcut we're gonna get to is pretty simple, which if you select a set of code and you press tab, it will automatically indent as far as you need it to. And that'll go to our next one, which is if you do shift tab, it reverts the indent. So it goes the opposite direction. So shift tab, now it goes the opposite direction of whatever we have highlighted. Another very useful shortcut is alt up or alt down or command up and command down on Mac. And this will allow you to move code to different lines without having to select, copy and paste and all that. You can also do this by selecting multiple lines and moving everything up or down that way as well. And the next useful shortcut is Alt Shift Up or Alt Shift Down on Windows, and then Option Shift Up or Option Shift Down on Mac. And this will copy the current line and either print it above your current line or below your current line. So we'll do Alt Shift Up, and you can see that when I'm pressing Alt Shift Up, it copies the line up. And then when I press Alt Shift down, it copies the line down. You can see my cursor going down. All right, and the next tip we have coming up is Alt Left or Alt Right on Windows or Option Left and Option Right on Mac. And this will allow you to go back and forth between your files based on which file you had previous in your history. So the last file I was in was in the test.js. If I go Alt backwards, it will take me back into here. I can Alt backwards again. And it's wherever I was in my file, it is taking me to. And then Alt forward, same thing, going through the history to get back to where I was at. And the next shortcut we have coming up is Control G or Command G on Mac. And this will allow you to type in a line number to jump to a certain line number in your file. So if we press Control G, it will pop up with this little search bar and it populates it with a colon. And from here, it tells us to type a line number between 1 and 27, since that is our file length right here. And so if we go ahead and type, let's say, 7 and press Enter, you can see it puts our cursor in the beginning of the line 7. And we can go ahead and do it again for, let's say, like line 24, and it puts it there as well. Another keyboard shortcut that I bet you didn't know about is Control-J or Command-J on Mac, which will toggle the panel that comes up from below. So if we go ahead and press Control-J, you can see it brings up this little panel down here that has the, the consoles, the terminals, the output, all this stuff, whatever else you have down here. So Control-J again, and it toggles it. 
And well, that's it for this video. If you learned something new, leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more.